So one of the most asked question on this channel is can you delete the plugins after using them? And another question which is asked very frequently is how many plugins are too much? Because using too many plugins can make your website slower. So we're gonna talk about these two things in very small informational video. And these two questions are related. So I thought let's create a video about it and clear all the confusion of my channel viewers. So first let's talk about can you delete the plugins after using them? So the short answer is no, you cannot delete the plugins. Because when you add a plugin, you add them to have some extra functionality on your website and when you delete them the functionality will not be there anymore on your website for example if you want to create a e-commerce shop on your website you install woocommerce plugin but if you delete woocommerce plugin your website will not have the functionality of a e-commerce shop on your website for example you use a security plugin and if you delete the plugin your website will not be secured anymore because these security plugin works in real time and they block the threats coming on your website in real time so deleting a security plugin is the worst idea ever. You need to have this kind of plugin running on your website. Let's talk about backup plugins. Yes, you can delete the backup plugins if your website cPanel or your hosting provider provides you regular backups. Image compression plugins, you can delete those plugins. They can compress your image once and those images will be compressed. But what will happen when you try to upload new images to your website posts on pages? These new images will not be compressed. So you should not delete the image compression plugins. There are some plugins you can delete from your website, for example, import export plugins, which you do not use on your website anymore. For example, you install a plugin to export the post from your website or export the WooCommerce orders. Now the work is done, you can delete that plugin. Speed optimization plugin. A lot of people ask me this question that, okay, I installed the plugin, my website is fast now, can I delete that plugin? The answer is no, you should not delete the plugin because these speed optimization plugin, they work on real time. Whenever you update a post, whenever you add a new data to the website, that new data will be added to the cache and these plugins are continuously making website faster for every visitors. So if you delete this plugin, your website will go back to slow website and you will not have the benefit of this speed optimization plugins. So now you understand you should not delete this plugin if you're using them. Let's go second part and see how many plugins are too much to have on a website which can make your website slower. And also I'll give a real example from my website and we'll talk a little bit more about the plugins you can delete or you should replace from your website. Okay, you can see this is my website. I'm using 52 plugins on my website and active plugins are only 33 plugins. We all were there, we know we try to use some plugins and then after we forget to delete them after the work is done. So first thing I will tell you that delete all the inactive plugins. You can just go to inactive here and you can see all the inactive plugins on your website and delete all the plugins which you are not using on your website. Okay, another kind of plugins which you can delete from your website. So a lot of people ask me if they can use auto-optimize and cache plugin together or they can use auto-optimize Asset Cleanup and Lightspeed Cache plugin together. So I recommend you that you do not need three optimization plugins on your website. Okay, if you use a plugin which is not very advanced plugin like W Fastest Cache, W Super Cache, you can use either Opt Optimize or Asset Cleanup plugin on your website in addition to that Speed Optimization plugin. But if you use a plugin like Lightspeed Cache or W Rocket plugin, then you do not need Auto Optimize or Asset Cleaner plugin on your website. Delete those plugins, just use the one plugin. You can see here there's a plugin which was better search replace. I used that few months ago. I don't use it anymore, so I need to delete this plugin. And guys, one more important thing you can see, I have so many pending updates on my website. And I highly recommend you if you want to keep your website safe and fast, you should keep updating this plugin regularly. And then you can see I have this plugin Query Monitor. I use this plugin to access the load on website. If you're using this plugin, and your website is working fine, you do not need this plugin anymore, you should delete this plugin. Then you can see how this plugin Redis Object Cache, it is good to improve the backend speed. I don't use it anymore, so I need to remove this plugin. In your case, if you're using Lightspeed Cache plugin or W Rocket, you do not need any other cache plugin on your website. So delete all the speed optimization plugins from your website. Let me know how many plugins you delete from your website. And last thing I would say about how many plugins are too much on your website, it depends on your website hosting. So if you're shared hosting, which is like very cheap hosting, not performing well on your website, you should have minimum numbers of, of plugins on your website. I highly recommend you to have a good hosting and then when you're good hosting, any number of plugins which are actively used on your website, they're fine. You do not need to delete them. Of course, I will recommend you to install plugin mindfully. Do not just keep installing plugins on your website. If you want my recommendation about good hosting, check the description of this video. And let me know how many plugins you delete on your website and how many plugins do you use on your website. And what do you think that how many plugins you should use on a website? Is there a number or no? And if you're facing some issue of your website where pages are posted not indexed on Google, check this video on screen.